Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna do a plan with me video showing you how I set up my month of April. So first I just take my inserts out of my planner so it's easier to plan. I also have my iPad here because that's where my Google Calendar is. I have my planner pouch with all my stickers and supplies. So I have those all here around my table. So I follow my monthly planning routines and recurring tasks as always. And in case you haven't seen the video about this, I'll link it above to show you how I use this to guide my planning. So as I've mentioned before, I use my monthly spread for project planning. It's not really used for appointments, meetings, and those kinds of things. I mainly just put stuff for the shop that I have to plan ahead for and any personal events or things that I need to plan ahead for. So the first thing I do is look at my Google Calendar and the school calendar to see any personal things that I need to plan for. So first I have this little packet of things from our February sub that I was saving for when I was ready to plan April. So in the back here, I have my April sticker kit. The first thing I wanna use is these little thin washi strips here because my daughter has a retreat this weekend. So that's what I use these little washi strips for. I wanna mark April 1st to April 3rd. And then I just cut it with my crazy looking, <laughs> this is such a crazy looking, cutter but it works really well and it's the best one I could find so so I just used that to mark that weekend and then there's actually quite a few things going on this month it's a busy month actually I didn't even realize April was going to be this busy but I also have on the 6th um she has a big school event for her future high school. So how can I mark this? Well, we do have to kind of like take a road trip out there. So I'll use this car icon and that's on the 6th. And then she has camp from the 11th to the 14th. That's what I really love about these thin washi strips because especially like on smaller spreads, um, you don't have a lot of space. So if you use a thick washi, it's gonna take up almost like half your box. So using these really thin ones still gives me so much space for other things I need to put on my calendar. Sometimes I'm scared to cut too deep. I don't wanna cut through my insert. That hasn't happened yet though, so luckily. And then another thing, good thing I have, so this sheet comes with two strips because then we also have Easter break. So this isn't long enough for there, so I'll get a new strip. So from the 15th, and I'll leave a little space to kind of try to show that it's a separate thing I'm marking now. This is my daughter's Easter break so they're off school for a week and then for this little extra space I know it's the weekend and they don't have school anyways but I still like to mark it just to show like the consecutive days that we have free to do whatever like if we want to go out of town or anything like that all right so here we have Easter so I have this little icon on my sticker kit which falls on the 17th and then tax day of course on the 15th and then my mom's birthday on the 25th and I try to keep it more towards the top because on some of these days there's things to go down below so to make sure I have enough space so that's all the personal stuff. So let me see what I wanna mark. How do I wanna mark this? So for my daughter's camp, maybe a luggage. And I think I'm gonna put it down here to be with the washi strip. And then 
Let's see, this is camp, so good thing I have two luggages here. And then we are going to visit my son, but that's only till this day, and then we'll be back. So how can I mark that? Maybe I'm gonna just cut a little break in the washi maybe, just so I can see it visually. There we go. So after I do that, then I put in the business stuff. So usually I start with our subs. So I get out my sticker book here and my transparent dots. So for subs, I like to use the black transparent dots, which is like really a dark gray. We open subs on the 1st, close on the 14th, and then we're going to try to ship by the 22nd and then send out sub love emails on the 25th. That's the plan. But things are always changing, especially with all these supply shortages and shipping delays. So that's what the plan is. So then next, I use my light gray dots for releases. So we'll squeeze this in here. Sub extras, hopefully. We're experiencing a delay. We're still in March right now. We're experiencing a little bit of delay. So I'm hoping that we'll do sub extras there. But if things get pushed back, we might have to move it. But I'm just gonna plan like everything's gonna work out fine. Um, the eighth will be stickers. So if you guys aren't part of our Facebook group, we have polls there now where you can vote on what stickers you want to see come to the shop. So for March, the Facebook group voted for more doodles and we just released those. We call it the people's choice. So if you vote in our Facebook group, then whatever the winning vote is, we'll release either on the 8th or the 15th depending on how our schedule works. Right now it's planned for the 8th. And then the 15th, since we'll be out of town, we're planning not to have any releases there unless we have to move this down. But then on the 22nd, we are gonna do printables. I will try to get some more printable stickers in the shop. Everyone always asks me. Um, I promise I'll try to work on that. It's so busy that sometimes it's hard to like look at new stuff but I definitely have it on my list and then on the 29th is always like the last Friday of the month is always grab bags slash anything that we want to clearance out of the shop and stuff so those are new releases and then I use this taupe color for content I know it changes a lot I'm trying to find my groove so on Sundays will be plan with me videos. Um, planning our week together and chit chatting about whatever and stuff like that. And then all Tuesdays will be like planner tips slash ideas slash people's choice. Not only do I run a poll asking for people to vote on what product you wanna see, but I also run a poll on what content you wanna see. So in March, the winning vote was for planner hacks, which I'm planning to post very soon. That's what Tuesday videos are for, is for the People's Choice winner. In the past couple of weeks, I posted like ideas for memory keeping, I think, and wellness tracking and things like that. So those are the type of videos on Tuesdays. And then on Thursdays, I actually have set videos. So the first Thursday of the month, I plan to do flip throughs. And then the second Thursday of the month, I'm gonna try to do vlogs. And then the third week of the month is for sub reveals. And the last week of the month is for setup. So setting up my planners for the following month. So yeah, I think that's it for the main section. And then this side column, it's a space for me to know what I'm gonna be working on this week so this would be design week and then this week would be filming week and then this week would be project week and then this week is sub week and then the last week is design week for the next month so you know even though this isn't a full week 
I'm counting this as a full week because I'll start the end of March, but April has like one, two, three, four, five weeks basically for me to work with. So um, that's why I have design week in two spots. I'm gonna go ahead and write in all the things here. All right, so I filled everything in on the main section and then all I have left are these bottom two areas. And so on my kit, I have these headers. So I use goals on the left side. Oh, I wanna mention here too, because I've got some questions about this. So for our inserts, um, some weeks need more rows than other weeks. So like, I don't have January on me. So January, let's say um, on this side, I needed an extra row for January because I think it was like the 31st was down here. So I needed to use that to complete the weeks. So I couldn't put these lines at the bottom. So for January, these lines were only on the right side page. But for most months, I think there's only four months that are like that in all of 2022. But for the other months, you have lines on both the left side and the right side. So I know some people were getting confused because they would go to our Etsy shop and they're like, it doesn't look the same. So that's why it looks that way. And so when I first designed these inserts, I wasn't thinking that I was gonna do my goals here on this side and my projects here on this side. I just made lines because I needed to fill in space and I thought it would be extra space that everyone can use however they want. And so the way I use it is like this. So I know that it got confusing for some people because they wanna do the same thing, but like on January, they didn't see the lines on both pages. So what I do, is for those just four months I think it is where there's no lines on the bottom left I just move goals and projects both on this side so that's what I do um, sorry about the confusion but basically what I use this for is this side I put my top three goals for the month which correspond with my top three priorities so the first one is wellness and my goal is to get us eating healthy dinners. I know this was on my goals for last month and we started to do better but I feel like there's a lot more work that needs to be done so I'm continuing it through April. The second goal has to do with family experiences and we are taking a road trip and then the third goal is for the business and in the Facebook group the people's choice for product was sticky notes, tabbed sticky notes. So I'm gonna work on it this month, but that doesn't mean it's gonna be released this month. And then projects are for like other projects that I want to or I should get done for this month. These also correspond with my top three priorities. So for wellness, I want to start compiling a recipe book. For family, I need to come up with a moving plan. We're not moving quite yet, I don't think, but soon, so I need to come up with a plan. The last one is for business, and I really wanna focus on updating our listings. So yeah, that's how I set up my month. So now I'm all ready to go for next month. I do also use some of these stickers in other spots in my planners. So here in my Angel Shop planner, I use this as a memory keeper. I like to use my hand-lettered month stickers at the top and then some of the decorative icons at the bottom. So then for April, I can set that up with some of these things from my April kit. So I won't make you guys suffer with watching me write in all the numbers and date the month, but really what I wanna focus here is on the bottom. So I just take our April sticker and put it probably here in the corner. And then I'm gonna take some of these deco stickers to put along with the hand lettering. So let me see, what do I think would look cute? I think I want to use maybe one of the plants, this one or this one, or a combination of them. I'm trying to see, I kind of like it like that here. And then I would probably want to put a plant, maybe, ooh, I like that dark one. If you pull this up a little bit, I can. Put it like that, that looks much better. Do I wanna use anything else here? 
this I really love this macrame this is kind of cute right here so that's what I do here in my memory keeper but then I also wanted to show you guys one last thing. I wanted to show you really quickly what I do in here to set up for the month. And this is my print pression spiral planner. I've always wanted to use a spiral planner. So what I'm using this for is for pre-planning. So you guys just saw me plan my month. I pre-planned my whole month here first because if I didn't do this first, it would take me like three hours to film a video. So anyways, Something cute I thought I would do for this planner is because at the beginning of every month, it's just a blank page. So I thought about using our vellum. And what's cool about that is I always have a hard time figuring out what to do with my vellum and my planner card. And I love them so much and I feel sad every time I don't use them. I thought about using the vellum to just glue onto the front of the monthly spread because it's just blank and then putting the card with it. So I, I'm only gonna use one though, so I didn't decide yet if I wanted to use this textile one like this or this swatches one. I don't know, I kinda, I like this vellum. This one's my favorite, but I feel like it might be too busy and this one looks cuter. Or maybe I move this all the way over and put this off the edge a little bit. That's kinda cute. So all I'm gonna do is I ran out of my tape roller, my adhesive tape roller, so I have my daughter's <laughs> glue stick. So then I would just put this here. You can see the purple through, but it does disappear. And then I could put that right here. So every time I turn to this month throughout April, I'll have something pretty to look at. So yeah, that's how I set up my planners for April, my pre-planner, my memory keeper, and my ring planner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.